guys and welcome back to the Friesen Kitchen. My name is Annika and today I'm going to show you how to make these amazing, delicious Bueno macarons. Are you as excited as I am? Then let's jump in. You will need 72 grams of aged egg whites, 20 grams of fine granulated sugar, a pinch of salt, and I like to mix my brown with red and blue gel colors, 90 grams of almond flour, and 140 grams of powdered sugar. We talked about our ingredients for the macaron shell. Now let's talk tools. We're going to need a spatula, a sieve, a piping bag with a round tip on the bottom, a food processor, a baking sheet with a template underneath a parchment paper. Now I'm going to combine the dry ingredients, the powdered sugar with the almond flour in my food processor. All right, let's start off making our meringue. And for that, we are going to need 72 grams of aged egg whites. And that basically means you just separate the eggs three to five days and then you place them into the fridge covered with a paper towel on top and then when you're ready to make your macarons take them out of the fridge place them on the countertop in your kitchen and leave them there for at least four hours so now let's go ahead and make the meringue i'm going to place my egg whites into the standing mixer with a pinch of salt and i start whisking for 20 seconds So after I added the egg whites, I'm going to add the pinch of salt and then start whisking until it's foamy and bubbly and then I can add the sugar very slowly. In between I like to stop the mixer and scrape down the sides to make sure all the sugar is in there. And I stop the mixer to show you that this is the consistency we don't want to have. We want a really stiff meringue. Alright, two minutes are over. So yeah, now you can see it's stuck in the whisk and that's totally fine. It's glossy and it's looking perfect. So now we're going to add our gel food color. And I like to mix up the blue with the red to achieve the brown. colored meringue ready. Now I'm just going to um, sift my dry ingredients into this bowl. And there will be some bigger pieces be left in the sift and that's fine, you can throw them away. And then we start folding in our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Just don't under or over mix your batter. Just mix until you have a lava-like consistency. And then you can just transfer your batter into a piping bag and start piping. Once you're done piping, just drop the sheet over the countertop a couple of times to release all the air bubbles. Then take a toothpick and just correct all the holes. So now comes a very important step. We need to dry the macarons for 20 to 60 minutes on a dry, cool place. 
They are done drying. When you touch them, and nothing sticks to your finger. So now our macarons are ready to go into the oven. I preheated the oven to 300 degrees, but when I pop them in, I just turn um, the temperature down to 280, and then I just bake them for 25 minutes. When your macarons are done baking, just take them out of the oven, set them aside, and let them cool off. So while we're waiting for our macarons to cool off completely, we're going to make our amazing bueno filling. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that bueno is my favorite candy. And I'm so excited that they are now selling it in the US. For the bueno ganache filling, you're going to need 45 grams of bittersweet chocolate, four tablespoons of heavy cream, and four bueno bars. So this is very simple. I just add the chocolate into a saucepan along with the cream. So I chop my bueno into small pieces and then add them into my pot. Now place your saucepan over low heat and melt it all together. Then set it aside and let it cool completely. The macaron shells cooled off, now I'm trying to find a match, set them on the board and now we are ready to pipe the filling. I just add the filling into a Ziploc bag and then I snip the corner off and then I pipe it on the macaron shells. And then just sandwich them together. So the last and final step is I'm going to uh, melt some bittersweet chocolate in the microwave and then I'm going to place it into a Ziploc bag and drizzle over my macarons. The macarons are all done and these are by far my favorite macarons. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye!